today we are supposed to perform first group separation table for that what we are supposed to do first of all this is the solution that is supplied to me by the lab personnel for first group separation table first i have to add first group reagent to this once i add first group reagent if i get a precipitate that implies first group cations are present definitely there will be a precipitation here because the lab personnel told me it is for first group separation table right i am taking the salt solution supplied to me by the lab personnel for first group separation and i am adding dilute hcl to that let me see whether i'll get a precipitate or not i'm getting a beautiful precipitate here you see you see here i'm getting a white precipitate beautiful white precipitate which implies first group cations are present now let me centrifugate this okay once i centrifuge this i'll get a residue and centrifugate the centrifugate must be tested for the next group namely second group and the residue contains first group cations and it must be tested for first group separation table now let's do the centrifugation let us start the centrifugation Let us remove the test tubes. See, this is a beautiful residue I got. This residue is to be tested for first group cations, and centrifugate is to be tested for higher groups, namely second group, etc. But right now, we are going to discard this one. Now, I am discarding the centrifugate by decantation technique. I am transferring the centrifugate into another test tube. I am discarding this. Usually, I have to do for higher groups in the group analysis, but right now I am discarding it. Now, this is the residue. This is to be tested for the presence of first group. Let us see that. To this, to this residue, I must add little amount of distilled water, and I have to heat this mixture. I have to heat this mixture. You must be very very careful while heating. Because of the higher solubility of the lead chloride, it will be going into the centrifugate, and the residue indicates the presence of silver and mercury. Let us see what happens. I have taken the residue. I have added a little amount of distilled water, and then. i heat it this particular solution okay now i am doing a centrifugation centrifuge this centrifugation is completed let us see what we have got see i got a beautiful precipitate again this residue indicates that it is containing silver plus or mercurous generally for mercurous we get a black precipitate but white precipitate indicates the presence of silver ion ag plus ion the residue indicates the presence of silver plus ion as i told you and this centrifugate may contain lead plus 2 let us check for that particular lead plus 2 ion now i am decanting the centrifugate into a fresh test tube yes i have decanted the centrifugate into a fresh test tube i am dividing this into three parts because i would like to do three tests therefore i am dividing it into three parts so i am taking little amount of centrifugate into a fresh test tube okay this is more than sufficient to the first part i am adding potassium chromate solution such that i get a yellow precipitate if there is lead plus 2 ion present here let me see see i got a beautiful yellow precipitate see this indicates lead plus 2 is present and this precipitate is lead chromate precipitate okay 
So let us do the other test with the remaining two parts. So I'm taking small quantity of the centrifugate into second test tube. I would like to add potassium iodide solution. So this is potassium iodide solution. To the second part of the centrifugate, I am adding potassium iodide solution. I must get a canary yellow precipitate. Let us see. See, I got a canary yellow precipitate. Beautiful canary yellow precipitate due to the formation of lead iodide. I can do a golden spangle test here. Let us do the golden spangle test for this particular lead iodide precipitate which is canary yellow in color. For that, to this precipitate, add little amount of distilled water, add little amount of distilled water and then you heat this particular mixture, always use a test tube holder while heating. Flowerly heat, flowery bumpy. Slowly, I'm heating, I'm heating, I'm heating. See, the precipitate is almost dissolved. There's no precipitate at all. There's no precipitate at all. Now, let us see what happens after some time. You see, beautiful golden spaniels will be formed because I am cooling the precipitate which is dissolved by heating. See, you see the formation of beautiful golden spangles. I will show you in a close up also. You can witness this. You see the beautiful golden spangles that are formed. See the glittering particles. Are you able to see? These are called as golden spangles. To the third part of the centrifugate, now I am adding dilute sulfuric acid. I must get a white precipitate due to the formation of lead sulfate. Let us see that. I am adding. See, a beautiful white precipitate is formed. Therefore, this is confirming the presence of lead plus 2 ion. In this way, we need to perform the first group separation table. What, what did we do? In, in brief, they have given a solution containing first group cations. I have treated that one with dilute HCl, the first group reagent. I got a precipitate. Immediately, I centrifuged that. I got a residue. This residue contains first group cations. The centrifugate is discarded. Take the residue, add sufficient amount of distilled water and then heat it. If there is lead present the lead will go to centrifugate and mercurus and ag plus will be remaining in the precipitate itself in the residue itself i centrifuged i got a residue and i got a white residue which indicates the presence of silver plus the centrifugate is divided into three parts to the first part i have added potassium chromate i got a yellow precipitate indicating formation of lead chromate to the second part, I have added potassium iodide and I have done a golden spangles test for that because I got a canary yellow precipitate due to formation of lead iodide. And towards the end, for the third part, I have added dilute H2SO4 and I got a white precipitate due to formation of lead sulfate.